again with another video. Let's play the dark pictures. The devil in me. <laughs> um, I played this three months ago, but I never continued it. So I'm going to start over and play it as new. So uh, let's get to it. Movie night. Yeah, I played this like three months ago, but I haven't gone back into it, so let's actually finish this. Bam, new slot, new slot, one player. Wait, what the fuck? Just accidentally went back. Play alone. I play, put don't play alone. Whoops. Oh, okay, so I did. I saw a story. A story. Uh, I can still continue the story. Holy shit! I can't talk. I wonder where we left off. What's this chick? Up with her. Oh. Okay. That was, a, that was a dude. Hey, can I ask you something and get a straight answer? You know, I know you making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. Oh, Fine. what's this? Oh, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. There's some sort of magical some holy grail of footage or information to be had here. The fuck did I just. You think Witness? That's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B roll. Oh, that's these not gonna save our like, asses. Uh, this looks like stiletto pumps. Damn, look at him. Oh, that's how you. Okay, that's how you run. Private property. Keep out. All right. I can climb over, okay. What about here? What's over here? Examine. What, the leaf? Oh, coin. What is that? Nice. Totally. Awesome. Yeah, keep it. Could be worth something. Go in where it says keep out. That's a good idea. Bit of a scramble. <coughs> Excuse me. Watch your head. Yep. Watch that big ass log. Fuck. I walk over there. Excuse me. Okay, I see where we're going. Climb across here and then go through here. Try not to fall and die. I don't want to see more cry. Thanks for the concern. Really. Wait, what? What?
I don't know, she's kind of... Never mind, she's flat as fuck. Creepy as fuck. <coughs> Wonder where this goes. It's straight up and down the hill. Yeah. But what's on the other end? Let's go find out. <clears throat> mm. Let's climb these rocks. She's cool. There's sunglasses on still. Can you see it? Oh, I don't think you can see that. It's not showing. What the fuck was that? Do you live out here on this island? Shh. Get down with your family. Who the My fuck? Wife is Who is that? She died. <laughs> Mr. Dumet, is this an actual palm tree? I pressed is the wrong button, so I didn't now? hide. I, I don't think so. Press the wrong button too. Shit. Whoops. Excuse me. Where they go? We're gonna get caught. Start over here, and then we'll work our way up. There's nothing here. Crazy ass looking house. Um, it's locked. What about over there? Shit, see I knew it. we got caught. Someone spying on us. <coughs> Excuse me. If I wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. <laughs> she complains too much. Did we just I felt like we've been here. Maybe not. Oh, there's a clue. Another one of those uh, coins. Oh, I got three of them now. Sick. It must be like tokens for like giving me a clue or like a hint, maybe. I don't know. It's <clears throat> summer camps. Generator. Okay, that's a clue. Okay. If I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. Of course, they want to get the car moving. It's not obvious. You know, they're, they're asking to get caught. Wait, alright, so. Uh, can I go in here? Okay. 
try this out. You see the control panel? It's trashed. I don't even think there's power. Fuse box, fuse instructions. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Coins. It's different. Fuck. What are you talking about? Oh yeah. Yeah, good idea. Let's turn this shit on. Maybe we can get this thing working. Okay, so how does this shit Jamie, work? Can you fix this? <laughs> Why'd it go slow motion? The f what? Honestly, I don't even know why those arrows were there. I just... I don't know. the top we just went here what's through here Shit. hear that Dude, shit. That full go. All right, so came from. Wonder what these are. Oh wait, there's clues over there. What the fuck is that? Where to go? Besides. Oh, there it is. Is that another coin? No. Oh, it's the other piece of the stiletto. Fuck 
What you just staring at the door for? <laughs> that like, huh? I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. They found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Alright. <clears throat> Probably talking too low. I had to fix my what? mic. Uh -huh. Wasn't working. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. Oh shit! We're all gonna die! Just go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, relax, Mark. <laughs> Just go. Ooh, Holy shit. Drop. You good? Oh man. Want a piggyback ride? Don't be an asshole. Okay, sorry. Remember what your therapist friend said? That belittling your neuroses is not an effective strategy to help you overcome them. I know. I'm saying I'm sorry. Thank you. Here, give me your hand. That's it. So you got oh, some Air Force wounds. Fine. Oh, no, okay. Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad. <sighs> Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. Dude kind of reminds me of Montel. Montel Williams. Is it Montel Williams? I forgot. This, wow. Oh shit, is that the hotel? From last time? Like yeah. the... Maybe this won't be a waste of a we weekend. We played in the past? Or in the beginning? Past. Oh, who Hello. the fuck is that? I wonder who you are. Creepy ass little girl. What are you doing? I, I oh, saw a little gone. girl. Up there. Maybe if you're one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Man, this is brilliant. Whoa. Look at this. It's amazing. This is okay. It is the hotel that we were at when we played Would in the beginning. You all mind signing in at the desk, please. Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I'll, I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. 
Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumas, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. This is truly fantastic. Zero one seven eight. I feel like I should take a picture of this shit. Got it. Just in case. Oh, I'm just got some crusty ass skin. Busy, busy, busy. You've been out in a battle day. To sit here worrying, gone all day, and not a word from you. Hmm. What's that little girl? Sorry. Jamie, You're second jumpy. floor corridor. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. Uh. How did you not hear me coming? I was. I don't think we're the only ones here. Yeah. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Oh. <laughs> and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. Mm -mm. 181. I, wasn't really I feeling think it. I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes. Thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's just a haul. It's a dude. bearing updated. Room. Young love. Oh, does that mean like they're into each other or something? Or she's like into her? Hotel guests. Young love. Alright. And here we are. Well, it's um cozy? Just have a playful personality. Oh, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure. What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school. What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows what you know. What Some is old that? ass wine? wine? Genius. Finally, uh, age probably. Like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. 
Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also. Yeah, she is. You're cute when you're worked up. I don't. Cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. Oh, what does that mean? You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Ugh, I know. Where'd it go? Uh... Oh, they're about to make out. It's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? No. Revenge? Cause good job. Fuck, she couldn't reach it. Don't pass my time. Shit, do I have to do it? Oh. You sure you're okay? Cause yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No, but seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I, I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? I, like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but dust and allergies and I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, cozy. You gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. <laughs> you're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. Wow. <laughs> and <laughs> Jesus. A healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. Obviously she's flirting with her. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the thinking you were a cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Not because I am bashful. I swear. Really. Sorry. Didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, I, yeah, it's just, we work together, and Charlie is always on me about being more professional, and... I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Er, er. Or that I don't think you're cute, too. It's just... Oh, they're gonna make um, out. You gotta move in. What are you doing? Uh, oh my god, I, uh, I... <laughs> well, I mean, was she leading her on? Oh, you bitch! <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Oh. Ha ha. Oh, sorry, sorry. Who is that? <sighs> Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't that fool is listening. Pervert as fuck. I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? 
I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. Okay, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. Damn, what a smart ass. <laughs> to be continued. To be continued, then? Yes. Definitely. Good luck finding your rooms. Hmm. <clears throat> what was I gonna do? Come on, come on, let's go. Where the hell are they going? It's like she's floating. wanted you to have this breaking down walls navigating the maze of anxiety are you fucking kidding me i think she thought it might help with your stress or... absolutely not <laughs> i'm not stressed yeah okay? you are do i look fucking stressed uh that was rhetorical well your cards came out nice enough oh yeah embossing Makes a huge I think this fool's jealous. Because, uh. Cards. Old school. You old. He likes school. her, but. She likes someone else. I also else. put it on heavy stock uh -huh. and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for me. I got some new uni pants. Did you find them? I. No. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Shit. Desperate. This whole sounds Check desperate. The other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. It's only clothes and uh, uh, this notice of eviction. The studio? I paid the studio rent out the wrong account and the check bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another. It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I... I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. Hmm. A mental note isn't good enough. Details matter. Yes. Got it. I will try to do better. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, well, it's not legal. seriously to addicted bars, to so. cigarettes. Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. The fuck? What happens if this fool doesn't forgive her? Gonna fire her? So desperate, let's run. So I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean, 
Can you tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing. Well, this bitch is sure. trying to do this but for it's free. Fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, but you have to let this go. We're fine, Erin. Okay. Business card. Is that a coin? Yeah. You've got to be worth something. This fool shines his nails. What the fuck? Lost. Pictures. Or no, documents. Oh god, it's a lot. Wait, I didn't read it. Alright, Grantham Dumet, 14 October 2022, 2334, Joseph Maria Morello. Invitation. Mr. Morello, good evening. Thank you for allowing me to contact you directly. Your publisher said that you were very keen to hear from me. Seems we have a mutual interest. I've spent several years constructing the ultimate Holmes tourist experience by faithfully recreating the world's fair hotel. We have not yet opened the, to the public as there are finishing touches to complete. I consider a man of your knowledge could provide insight in this invaluable before our official opening. Therefore, I invite you to visit the hotel for the weekend. The experience is designed to accommodate groups of five guests, so I extend the invitation to your four friends or family of your choosing. I must insist that this invitation be kept confidential until the hotel is publicly announced, so please only invite guests that you can trust to do so. Hope you can accept my invitation. Please reply to confirm your attendance and four additional guests that you would like to bring. Should you accept, a limousine will pick yourself and your guests up at 7 p.m. this Friday underneath the railway bridge at the corner of S. Wallace Avenue and W. or West. South Wallace Avenue and West 63rd Street, Inglewood, Chicago. Inglewood? I'm sure you'll find the experience very interesting indeed. Sincerely, Grantham Dumet. Sorry, just felt like reading it. Look at this painting, will it give me a clue? It's breathing hard because it really needs that <laughs> needs that cigarette. Hey Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. <laughs> very valuable to, to him. In this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with Name the Name checking. Brad Fisher. Uh -huh. Rachel Davis. Jackie Fiddles. Scorn Thorne. Look, I just think you've got so much to Grace give. Fletcher. So much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. January, March, April, May, June, July. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. Oh, huh, there's like a pattern. And big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. What the fuck? Oh, shit. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? It's clear that fool wants you as his assistant. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Let's 
see what's over here. All right, nothing. The fuck? That's creepy. How the fuck did he know? Erin, I found the key. This guy's so desperate for a cigarette. He's not even wondering why. The bell rang and the key happened to be there. Was I supposed to do something with that card? What the fuck? Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Hello? Mr. Dumet? Hello? Jeez, I thought that was a real person. It scared the shit out of me. Low key. Ms. Kelly Schroeder, once again, I would like to thank you for the incredible work and your team achieved at the hotel. I'd like to extend my heartfelt condolences. The accident that Bell fell of the skeleton crew on the lake is nothing short of a tragedy, and I, in part, feel responsible. In honor of them, I have spent the last several months applying the finishing touches to the hotel. I'm proud to say that we are almost ready to open the, to the public. Please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude. I invite yourself and the rest of your team to join me for a grand opening ceremony, 7 p.m. Friday, November 17, 2017. I promise a spectacular evening with the theme entertainment, including a barber shop quartet. I'm sure you will agree that all four, all of your hard work was worth it when you enjoyed the unique hotel experience. Sincerely, Richard Belk Knapp. Is that all of it? Oh, okay, it is. Look at that. Cigarettes. Yes. Yes. Oh, of course it wants exact change. Damn it. What if they're expired and they're old, you know? Looks back here. Got some coins up in this bitch. Wait, let's go look at that fucking. Wow! An animatronic. Ha! Huh. That's what amazing. What would it be, Mr. Demet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? Packet of smokes. Figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. We already First found it, though. Fair change back there, have you? That means you gotta look in the register. Damn, need a key. Wait, what?
God damn. Holy shit, that got me. Next round's on me. Promise. I hope that shit gets stuck. Yeah, good. Oi. Oi. Oh, no, 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 please, come on, no. See what your desperate ass gets. What? No. Oh, no, please. I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. Oh, this fool's gonna take it out on that chick. Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Ha! What? Holy shit. What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <sighs> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. This fool's gonna I'm break gonna the machine get and get caught. And they are gonna kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Creepy as fuck. Hey, had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. Be earnest. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. Mm. I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. Excited. We're hitting the golden hour. We should be able to find a good spot. <laughs> I don't know why you camera dorks call it that. It's 15 minutes at best. Yes and no, if you have the right reflector. 15 minutes at the most. <laughs> Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. Right. Have a new place. It'll do for now. You like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short-term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. Yep, That's... like let's explore. Mm, Never mind. Smart plan. 
You said I needed to be out, so I got out. It's over here. Whoa, there, Bucko. I was just checking for a light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. For real. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio. I, I can't go you back here. Obsessed over it's finding like the perfect pushing place me. With the right wall color near the proper train station or right, bus stop. Or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? Someone knocked over the lamp. There's something back here. That's creepy. Full fall because he's trying to get cigarettes. All right. All right, inspect that. All right, we can move forward. So if Dumet catches us in here. Are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So oh, maybe shit. we should take care. Probably. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you. Oh fuck! What the hell? Shit! Let's <laughs> get the fuck out of me. Me too. Was he the devil? Trick me on America's first serial killer. Since his first book in 2002, Joseph Morello has been fascinated by the investigating a serial killer and none have intrigued him more than H. H. Holmes. In his latest paperback, Morello examines more than 15 years of his own research and running separating fact from fiction to provide evidence about the truth behind the historic case of America's first serial killer. Was he the devil? A must for Morello fans, Real Killers magazine. It's like an analysis of, wor of your worst nightmares, review monthly. Cool. Mark can extend his monopod to reach high objects. The fuck? <coughs> Fucking Inspector Gadget here. Birth, deaths, marriages, missing Mr. Roberts Hall. Robert Hall of Silver Spring announced the birth of their daughter, Marilyn, on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. Elaine and Stephen Wright of North Park announced the birth of their son, Maurice, on June 10th at White Park Oak. On behalf of their daughter, Lucinda Monday, proud grandparents George and Irene Monday of Silver Spring announced the birth of their grandson, Hector Whalen, on June 11th at the White Oak Hospital. It's all in June. Huh. Yeah, just leave it on the floor. Fuck. There's gotta be a way through. Look at this wallpaper. 
This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but it... <laughs> that shut her up. Manny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You're taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Hmm. Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh... <laughs> Allegedly, killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. So, uh... Rod is gonna set in. Right, that's it. What? But since we got there, see that key? Just need to find a way through. Mm hmm. The fuck was the mouse? Old house, island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood, could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. <laughs> there you go, some... Just like messing with people's shit. The fuck, how did I? <clears throat> Keep your head down. The fuck, she behind me? She's not even here. Wait, what was that? Sorry, I'm seeing shit. Never mind. I'm being watched. Wait a minute, can that door open? Okay. So do you got a cannon? Can five D Mark Five? Wait, what the hell? Oh, I put it that way. Yeah. 
Canon D Mark V. Did I say Canon Mark D5? Really can't talk tonight. Shit. Full breathing so hard. <laughs> this should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back. It must be heavy then. That's why he's breathing hard. Alright, boom. Oh, cool. We made it. Oh, fuck. Where are we now? Oh, duh. Balcony. Got it. All right. Hi. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Mm -hmm. There you go. Romantic. What is this? Okay, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. <laughs> God damn. Fuck. You okay? No! I just. This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. I mean, that's what we got for touching is that shit. See? I got me. What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Mm -hmm. It did. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. 
Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. Hmm. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but imagine if you were in his shoes. Forty-something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. Supportive. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That... sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing ah, himself. Got He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. Was that full of deciding over there? What the hell? Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Great. Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Yeah, that thing looks creepy as fuck. What is this? What was this song? You even put the needle on it. Creepy. Hey guys. What we got here? All right. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Let's all just relax. We just sat down. Give the man a moment. He's the host. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right Dumet? with you. Dumet? Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait, what? why? You saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. <laughs> Which made that big face. Ass hurt. <laughs> Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave?
I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Mm. Oh, God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. She's buzz as fuck right now. She was drinking in her room. She never found your cigarettes. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. Now, I would like to toast all of you, really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. Well, let's try to make him nice. Fuck it. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure. If we have time to get it all. <clears throat> yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. No way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need, and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. 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 
toasty. A toasty achievement. Oh shit, it's creepy. Hello? Guys? Is that you? It's creepy as fuck. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end the game here. I mean, for those that watch, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. I'll post more videos on this. So, uh, peace out.